Hey guys, my name is Devin VP. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Morden's Falcon F2 Sling Strap. I apologize for being taking so long to get back. I've had a ridiculous amount of equipment returns and equipment failures. It's been an extremely stressful and frustrating month for me. If I seem out of focus at all, it's because I'm using a camera that doesn't use autofocus, and I apologize. I probably won't see my video camera for another two weeks. Emorden, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Emorden contacted me and wanted me to review their Falcon F2 shoulder sling strap right here. Emorden, more fun, more pro. Now, I was originally interested in a sling strap before I eventually found uh, Peak Design slide camera straps. What I saw on the market, what was available out there for sling straps wasn't really impressive. I either had something that was affordable, say less than $100, was very risky from what I've seen in the reviews. It seemed like some people had some products that were failing and would drop their cameras, and I didn't want to risk that. The more proven Higher quality slings, though, were up in the two to three hundred dollar range, which is not something I was willing to spend on a strap at that time. Now, say two or three years later, Morden contacted me to send send this out for a review, not sponsored, just send it out for a review, um, and I'm impressed. I'm be honest, I'm genuinely impressed. You are greeted with their trigger mechanism. Now, this is their what seems to be proprietary design for hooking your camera to the strap itself. And that's this thing right here. And it looks like this. So when you get this, this, this peak comes off and you have this screw to your camera, you assume that the best way to do this, especially when it, with something that doesn't come with instructions, which this thing did not come with instructions, you just screw it on. You just tighten your hands around and screw it on. Well, be careful with that because I actually sliced my finger doing that. Um, these edges right here, which are designed to give you the Arca type compatibility for tripods, so you don't need to remove this to actually use it with most tripods, um, was a bit sharper than I imagined it was supposed to be. And because of that, I bled a bit. And that wasn't the best first experience with this thing, especially as it being sent to review. But I humored it, and I took it out for a uh, wedding, a full eight hour wedding that I shot all day with only this strap. And I was very cautious with it. I made sure to be very careful not to cut my finger open again. So every time I had to grab it, I was like, Ugh. despite my caution, I ended up cutting my hand. Nonetheless, I was actually reaching into my pocket ever so carefully with my camera resting right by it and sliced my hand right there that was bleeding to the point where I needed to bandage myself in order to continue shooting the wedding. And I noticed in the reviews that I didn't see really anyone complaining about that. So I imagine that maybe I just got a product that was taken off the line quicker than it was supposed to. So the way this works is that you grab the lower piece attached to the strap, you pull down a mechanism that reveals the slot to slide in the ball joint. You slide the ball joint in, you push the shell up and you twist to lock it in there. Now I can't get out. And it gives it nice mobility to spin around without tugging and pulling too much on your strap. Okay, so let's get more into the comfort of this strap. Right here, you do have a very nice, really wide shoulder pad here with a very soft, almost memory foam-like material. And on the underside, you do have a very nice, almost rubbery-like material that doesn't seem to pull or tug too much. It seems to have that perfect amount of grippiness. On the underside here, you do have a connection strap that keeps the strap in place. And right here, you do have a quick adjustment mechanism. So you go ahead and pull this down, and that actually raises the strap or shortens the strap so the hammer doesn't hang down too low. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and pull it back up. It moves the adjustment strap forward so that it moves it back up, loosens the strap, and it hangs back down. You do also have this piece back here, which is just a little buckle, plastic buckle, that you can move around. You want to go ahead, place it right here, tighten it, and now that stops the camera from hanging any lower than that. So in case you're in a tight spot, you don't want the camera hanging to your side, you can move that up, and now it hangs from your front. It's a nice little option to have. I really like it, and I used it a lot during the wedding. There was one reviewer on the Amazon product page that did mention a failure with the product that resulted in the trigger here basically falling apart. Luckily, that person did have the security harness attached, which just is a carboneer that hooks onto the main strap, 
and then you loop this part around the camera strap hook right there. That person did mention that the issue was that this piece right here, the screws in here were loosened. So what he ended up doing was just tighten them back up. Emorden even contacted this person and rectified the issue. So if you do plan on purchasing this strap, I do just recommend taking a look at those screws there. They just use a simple Allen key. Make sure they're tight before using this and if you're at all wary you can just use that security strap. In addition to all this, the strap does come with a complimentary wrist strap which uses a very soft material and just a simple click buckle right there that loops around in your strap loop on your camera. I uh I'm not a big fan of wrist straps so I haven't really used this personally but it's definitely a higher quality comfortable material so I'm sure that anyone who does like wrist straps might appreciate that or anyone who might have been interested in trying that out you can go ahead and give that a shot I'm not going to be using it so lastly you do have these little safety buckles here that require two hands to remove and you do have one on each side in case you do plan on using this on your other shoulder it's a simple click from the side just like a normal one and then you have this button right here to remove so it's not a simple you know grab that you might accidentally release that won't happen so despite the uh meat slicer that the strap comes with uh, i was very impressed with this i was very impressed with the amount that it offered and for how little it offered especially from my own experience looking for straps just like this i have had no issues other than the industrial strength wood saw that sliced my finger open but other than that it's 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 really good i've had no issues with it everything's been working the way i wanted to it's very comfortable wear i forget that it's on I love the way it sweeps to the side. I love this adjustment strap that keeps it higher because I think I, per I personally prefer to keep it higher at times depending on how heavy or large my lens is. And the option of keeping it to the front if I'd like to is a big plus for me, especially when I'm shooting large events with a lot of people. And of course, that one piece that you have right here that allows you to attach it to any Arca type compatible tripod, which is most tripods. That in itself right there is a huge selling point for me personally. I, I'm definitely going to continue using this. I'm just going to file this finger juicer down until it juices no longer and I'll be fine. I'm going to continue using this thing. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this strap, you like my face, you like this video, you like my renovated office, give me a like on the video. If any questions or comments about this strap, be sure to let me know down below what's your favorite camera strap or your favorite uh, a sling strap. I'm still possibly looking out for more. I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to find something better at this price point here. Um, but let me know down below if you have any suggestions. And then, of course, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll see y'all next time on some more camera bag reviews once I get all my damn equipment back. Do you like songs? What's your favorite kind of song? Do you like pizza? What's up? What's your name? Do you like techno? I like techno. Do you like pizza?